I'm Karen Sutherland from Edible Eden Design and we're going to look at another really simple test to find out whether gypsum, a very um, readily available and cheap product that doesn't change the pH of your soil, can be used to help uh, ameliorate your clay or help disperse your clay. So all you need is a jar, some water and a trowel and a little bit of time. So with any soil test we clear back the mulch we're not testing the mulch, we're testing the soil. We pull that back. And this is a bit of improved clay. So I'm digging down to see if I can find some nice chunky pieces. So clay is generally in big clunky pieces. Here's another nice piece. And sometimes clay is in such solid pieces that you can barely dig it out. But that, that's quite good, that gives us an idea. Cover that up again. That's the first stage. <laughs> Bloody hell, I thought we better just turn it off for a second. <laughs> okay. All right, go. I'll, I'll cut that bit out. Yeah, yeah. Now we're gonna add some water. See, it's another use for recycled jars. And we're going to shake it up and down. Now this is breaking up really well and, and showing um, muddy water essentially, or that's the soil dispersing into the water. So already that is telling me that gypsum is going to be able to help this. But if in doubt, if you left your clay just sitting in the water for 24 hours, and you came back and there was absolutely no milkiness arising off the really heavy clunks of clay you've got because mine is not that heavy anymore because I've improved it too much over the years but you would know if there was absolutely no muddiness in the water that you cannot help your soil with gypsum so after we've shaken this we just need to wait five or ten minutes and if it hasn't gone clear at all then this can be helped with gypsum.